So yeah, guys, a little while back, I had installed an Apple CarPlay mod from a site called CarLinkit. Um, and I linked the description, linked um, the product in the description to that video. But pretty much what it did was just add the capability of having Apple CarPlay um, in my 2016 Audi A3. Uh, it does not come with CarPlay originally, so then I added it in just to give us the capability. So we have our USB cable there, which I'm going to change the routing of that now. So I'm gonna show you guys sort of the installation process, what is required to take the glove box out, route that. Um, I have the Wi-Fi antenna down there if you wanna use wireless. So I'm gonna go through that and then we'll just actually see how to install this thing so that you guys can see, you know, one, how to, how to install it, and two, if you wanna take on the challenge of installing it. So first things first, here are your tools for the job. You got two keys to get the multimedia interface out. So there's your multimedia interface. So you're gonna pull that out with those two keys and these two slots at the bottom, one there, one over there. Then you're gonna need a 5 16 um, socket and a couple of trim pry tools. I'll show you guys where you need all this. First things first is we'll pull out the multimedia interface. So to pull this out, all you have to do is take your two keys Stick one on that side, one over here, and then just pull out. So there we go, we are out. I'm just gonna disconnect what's on the back, and then I'll show you guys where everything gets plugged in. Here we go, we got the multimedia interface out. Um, and here are your connectors. So you got your main harness connector and then some of your, you know, LVDLS connectors, stuff like that. But I'll pull out all of the screws. So you can see you have one bolt in the back. You're gonna have three bolts along here, two underneath the glove box and one on the side. Um, there's actually two back there. You can probably see that other one back there. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to pull the trim panel off over here and then pull out the rest of the screws and drop the glove box. Now, all you need to do to pull off this piece of trim is the kit comes include is includes a pry trim tool. So all you're gonna have to do is uh, pry this piece of trim off. It's just a bunch of clips. Um, get some popping. Don't worry about that. And then you should be able to pull this trim panel off. So we have the trim panel off, and you see over here we have our one screw we have to take out to drop the glove box. So I'm going to pull out the rest of the bolts, drop the glove box, um, and then show you guys what kind of connections you need to make between the CarLinkit CarPlay box and all the connections from the original OEM uh, multimedia interface. So now as I'm taking out the last screw, I'm securing the glove box kind of with my foot underneath. Cause this is, once this screw comes out, it will just pretty much drop. That is the last one. So now, once it's sort of unclipped from the side, it will just sort of just fall down. There we go. And now we can see inside of the car. So there we have our connectors. Um, I actually have the car link it device right there. So it's sitting on top of our uh, climate control interface. So that's where that is sitting. So all you have to do is connect your connectors to your back of your car link it. So that would be USB, um, the LVDS, and then the other breakouts. I'll be described in the instructions. So that's everything there. All I have it doing is it's just, it's sitting in place with a, um, a piece of permanent uh, tape.
Um, but I'll, once I get the glove box a little bit more out of the way, I'll show you all the connectors and where they need to be connected to. Yo guys, now that I got the glove box completely out. So I put the box back there. I ran my USB cable right from there behind that little bracket. And here's all your connectors. So you have um, your main connector. So this is sort of the, the breaker between the car link it and the Mount Audi OEM. I just put a little duct tape on there to keep it in place. And then you have your other links. So you have your splitter for your LVDLS. Um, and then you have all your other cables. These are just normal routed cables from Audi. Um, those will just pop back into the glove box as well. So that's pretty much everything. All it is is as simple as taking out the eight screws, connecting all your connectors, putting your box um, behind your um, climate control unit, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get this button back up, and that, that'll pretty much do it. I might show you through a little bit more of the CarPlay system. Um, so yeah. So there we go. We got all our bolts back in. Got our two in the back end, our three under here, and then our two underneath the glove box. There. Then we have our wires coming up, so we got our USB cable uh, that ends up right next to there, and our wireless antenna right there. So now we just have to connect our cables back into our multimedia interface, and we're done. I'll pop the piece of um, trim panel back in. Let me just switch hands really quick. So I'll pop this piece of trim panel in. Just wanna get it underneath. And then you'll be able to see the clips that it's supposed to pop into. And you'll hear clicking. And there we go. Now we have the trim panel back in. Just get the multimedia interface in there and we are all set multimedia interface um so yeah pop it back in and we should be good to go